So in this video, we will see what is two-step verification and how do you enable that on your Google account. So basically two-step verification adds an extra layer of verification whenever you try to log into your Google account from a new device. That can be a new computer, a new mobile, or even if you're trying to log into your Google account through some third-party applications or websites like Facebook. So what it does is that after you put in your login information, it asks you for a code a code that can be obtained through an application on your phone if you use an Android or an iOS device or something like that, a Blackberry device. Then you can obtain it using Google Authenticator. The app is available for free. Or if you do not have a smartphone, if you have a simple phone, you can obtain it through SMS. So they actually send an SMS to you on your registered mobile number or you can even ask them to call you on your registered mobile number and instantly you receive the code. So it just adds an extra layer of verification and that's quite useful many a times. You know, if you even if you if you think that your password has been stolen or someone has seen you typing in your password on a computer, you don't need to be worried about it because ultimately to log into that computer, they need to have that code and that code is obtainable only if they have your cell phone but you have it so you are kind of secured in that case so let's see how you can actually enable two-step verification so this is some information on two-step verification why is it useful now to enable two-step verification we just click on it basically takes me to accounts.google.com I have already opened it and put in my username and password I'll just click on sign in. So once I have signed in to my google.com using accounts.google.com, I have the security option over here. I click on security option. Now over here, make sure your recovery options are, are latest because if you're unable to recover your account due to some reasons, this is the information where, that you'll need to verify. And then in the two-step verification, you have to click on edit. Right now, the status says it's off. We have to click on edit. Okay, so now let's go ahead and start the setup. Okay, it's asking me for my phone number. It will send me a code through text message. I'll say send code. Okay, I have received the code and I'll put that in over here. Okay, so now at this step, it says trust this computer. So what that means is that unless the cookies are cleared for this particular computer, it should always keep me logged in or it should not ask me again to put in my uh, verification code. Now, you need to untick this if you are on, if you are not on your own computer so you can just say don't trust this computer so that whenever someone tries to log in on this particular computer on my account it will always ask for verification code and I'll click on confirm okay great so this is done so now once this is done I can close this and now from here I can manage application specific passwords to do that I just have to click over here manage application specific passwords and that will okay it's again asking me for my login information Wow, so it has actually already started doing it. Okay.
So what application specific passwords mean is that you will have a different password for different applications. So if I log in using this email address on, on say Outlook or on Google Calendar on, on a third party application, maybe Apple iCal, then I'll have to generate an application specific password using which I can log into that particular device or that particular application. How that saves me from being a uh, risk to hacking of my accounts or illegitimate access to my account is that if I am if I don't have that device anymore if I don't want that that device to have my login details anymore I can just simply delete the application specific password that I generated for that particular device so if I go over here manage application specific passwords okay now this keeps on asking me again and again I'll just do it once again to see what's wrong with it Okay, so now I can over here type application. For example, if I want to log into Outlook, uh, I use Apple Mail. So if I want to log into Apple Mail, you, for this particular account, I can generate a password. So this is it. Now this is my password. This is some random characters, but Google knows it very well. And even spaces don't matter. So you just need to copy it and paste it over there. I can simply copy and paste it to my Apple Mail. But hey, now, if I ever feel that I don't want to use it and this is no more useful to me or I don't use Apple Mail anymore or even if my laptop is stolen or something like that, I can simply revoke the access. So if I revoke the access, the password that you just saw right now will no longer remain active. So I'm not worried about it. So even if my laptop is stolen or even if something goes wrong with Apple Mail, I'm never worried because the password that I actually put in in the first place is no longer valid. Whenever someone tries to access it, it will show them incorrect login details. So that's how basically two-step verification and um, managing application-specific passwords really helps. Sometimes it can be cumbersome that you have to keep on generating new application-specific passwords every now and then. And you might think that it's kind of irritating. It doesn't allow you quick access to your account. But hey, it's quite helpful actually because um, it saves you a lot. These days, you keep on seeing information about Google accounts being hacked every other day and even other accounts being hacked. So it's good if you have them s properly configured to this, this channel and then make sure that you don't get into some trouble. So that was it, guys. Thanks for watching. And I'll keep you posted with new videos. Thank you. Bye.